York super broker Dolly Lenz is walking into one of the most luxurious hotels in San Francisco. Wow. I have to tell you, this lobby oh, never ceases to welcome. amaze me. Look at this, wow. Welcome to the Fairmont Hotel. It may look familiar because it's been in so many TV shows and movies, but what happened in the penthouse is more of a secret. Look happy at this, it's here. absolutely beyond amazing. Dolly's here to see two of San Fran's top real estate brokers, Barbara Klein and Joel Goodrich. Yeah. But she's not here to talk mega homes, she's here to see a mega hotel room. Shall we head upstairs? Fantastic, I am dying to see this place. Dolly's checking the place out for an ultra wealthy Asian client who asks us not to use his name. He needs a hotel to stay in while mansion hunting in San Francisco. Okay, here we are. Prepare to be wowed. Wow. This is beautiful. And this is only the foyer. Clients who drop 10, 20, even $50 million on real estate expect their brokers to get them into the top mega homes as well as into some of the top restaurants and hotels. And when Dolly recommends a place to a client, her reputation is on the line. Oh, Here we are in the living room of this iconic penthouse suite. Wow, what a room this is. And if these walls could talk, yes. the events that have been here from rock stars to royalty have been entertained in this room. Lots of hotels have presidential suites, but this one is the real deal. In 1945, President Truman met world leaders here in preparation for drafting the charter that created the United Nations. Other VIPs that have stayed here include Prince Charles of Wales, King Hussein of Jordan, Mick Jagger, Tony Bennett, and Nat King Cole. There are even rumors of JFK and Marilyn Monroe secretly hooking up in this penthouse. Kale Gorbachev, Elton John, Al Pacino, and even Dita Von Teese. Oh, really? Oh, okay. All that history is priceless, and you better believe it factors into what it costs to stay here. We'll get to that in a minute, but first, there's a lot more to see. Oh, are you in for a treat here? Arabian Nights. I'm not even sure where to look. These walls that look like tile are actually hand-painted, hand-carved wood. It absolutely looks like tile. This feels like Michelangelo did it. I mean, it's just unbelievable. This is definitely the most exotic <laughs> yeah, exactly. room in the penthouse. I think this yes. is the most exotic room I've personally ever been in in my entire life. I mean, seriously, between the colors, everything. You know, I didn't even just, just notice there's a pool table. And the beauty is, you will continue to be impressed as we go through this suite. It doesn't wow. stop here. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Calling this a hotel room would be ridiculous. It's 6,000 square feet with three bedroom suites, a grand piano, and this. Okay, you're about to see the most extraordinary view. Oh, wow. You can't look at it without enjoying a mimosa. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's one of the most incredible views in the world. The financial district, the world famous uh, pyramid, the bay, and all of downtown San Francisco. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers yeah. to you. Yummy. Cheers to Nobio. So we hope this will be good enough for your clients. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think, think so. For our exactly. <laughs> we can't tell you who, but a guest who stayed here for a little over a week rang up a tab including caviar and champagne of $240,000. Now let's see the rest of this place. Okay, so now we're entering the historically significant dining room. Wow. Uh, this dining room hosted the heads of state. Harry Truman gathered the heads of state. They met here, they dined here. Guests who stay here eat dinner off the very same fine china that served world leaders, royalty, and rock stars. And this seat's what, 14? This for dinner? For 14. an intimate dinner? For yeah. an intimate dinner. In this room, dinner for 14 really is intimate. The penthouse can accommodate sit-down dinners for 60 and receptions for up to 150 guests. Okay, okay. on to the kitchen, yeah. which Great. is extraordinary in and of itself. Great, look forward to it. I'm not used to kitchens, but let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I think kitchens are overrated myself. Kitchen. <laughs> yeah. These brokers will sell the heck out of a home with a million dollar kitchen, just don't ask them to actually cook in one. Wow, it's a real kitchen. This Hello, is so kitchen. Welcome. So one of the great features of reserving the penthouse is that you get the very talented chef here. And uh, they will actually stock the fridge with whatever your requests may be. 
and it could be from grapefruits to gourmet foods. So whatever diet's in vogue that week. That's right. right? Exactly. Yep. The grapefruit Don't forget the Dom Perignon. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. We'll take exactly. it stocked with that. Exactly. Along with a world-class <laughs> chef, the staff at your beck and call includes an around-the-clock butler, a team of housekeepers, a personal trainer, a massage therapist, and 200,000 honeybees. VIP guests get VIP honey, produced by the Fairmont's own beehive. Okay, Dolly, you're about to enter another amazing room. One of the world's best libraries. One of the most amazing things to do is to spend a little time in this library, open the books, sometimes a note will fall out. It's the original amazing. notes. Absolutely. Wow. Someone recently found a book that was signed by JFK. You're kidding. Oh, a handwritten note from JFK? No big deal. Okay, follow me. We're about to see another secret, Dolly. I know you love secrets. Yeah, I love secrets. And this penthouse is full of them. A Stairmaster in the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you can really see the ceiling now. Surrounded by the celestial ceiling. And all these portholes, I love that. Right? Wow. You can't get out that porthole, or that one, or that one. Wow. But you can get out. <laughs> it's so hidden, I can't even find it. You need some muscle. This is a secret door? This is You're a kidding me. Door. Wow. <laughs> so you can just escape. Oh my goodness. <laughs> The mistress would walk out here? Is that basically the idea? Floor has it. What oh, happens yeah. in the penthouse stays it's in the, the penthouse. penthouse. Yeah. <laughs> the Fairmont values the penthouse at $20 million. Back in 1926, it was leased for only $1,000 a month. Today, it'll cost you 15 grand to sleep here for a single night. Broker Maria Babayev has some of the most exclusive listings of the famous Gold Coast of Long Island. She caters to a type of buyer who's willing to spend a lot of money to drive their Bentley through these front gates. A lot of international buyers that are coming into the marketplace, when I walk them through the estates like this, they look at the price tag, all they say is so cheap, so cheap. So cheap. Cheap is, of course, relative. This stretch of Long Island's North Shore has been attracting the ultra wealthy for over a century. This is actually the area that inspired F. Scott Fitzgerald to write his own Secret Lives of the Super Rich, known, of course, as the Great Gatsby. We'll see what today's buyers think when they see the price tag on this Gatsby era man. Look at this, it's beautiful. Welcome I to England, the States. So Joseph Yushabayev is a Russian businessman. Uh, and he's got a plane to catch to Moscow. And he's promised his wife, Irina, that he'd see this property before he leaves. All 14,000 square feet of it. But he only has 90 minutes. The original home was built in 1924, uh, designed by James O'Connor, very famous architect at that time. Please step in into this sunlit unbelievably beautiful uh, living room. Maria has a lot of house to sell, not much time to sell it. This is one of the uh, six fireplaces in the house. The view is fantastic and you're surrounded by major estates here, so really it's so private. Let's proceed to the formal living room or ballroom. This is all plaster. I'm in love with this room, it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's also a pool house that's bigger than some homes. And a tennis court, a dance studio, a full gym, a movie theater, and down this spiral staircase to the basement, the couple is greeted by something you're more likely to see at the Museum of Natural History. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> a full-sized stuffed giraffe. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's a three-story uh, high oh my giraffe. God. It's so big, it had to be cut into three pieces and reassembled in the middle of the staircase. This is the first time I see giraffe in my life. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I guess uh, you got a book trip to Africa. After this room, you don't have to. The giraffe stands guard <laughs> outside a walk-in safe. Walk-in yes. safe. Absolutely. Now, this can also serve as a panic room. A lot of international clients that I work with, uh, this is an absolutely must-to-have feature. Back upstairs, there's a kitchen fit for a king or at least 
his caterers. Kitchen is absolutely phenomenal. It's designed by Clive Christian. He's famous for creating what he calls the world's most expensive perfume, which will run you more than $1,000 per ounce. He also creates some really expensive kitchens. Maria says this one costs more than 275 grand. It's so spacious and open. An hour in, and they haven't even made it to the top floor. They still have a long way to go. Let me show you uh, all the bedrooms. I mean, a really long way. You have a very long hallway. Beautiful arches are done. Irina is loving this house. Oh, wow. I love the ceilings. Lighting. It's a beautiful master bedroom. Beautiful nice. bathroom. You can have a party here. It's beautiful. Yeah, ready for the closets? Yeah. Well, it's his and hers, or hers and hers, depends how you negotiate. His and her closets are a very big deal. And for Joseph, size matters. Wow, what is this here? Joseph is feeling a little let down by his walk-in. That's <laughs> insulting. And even more so after seeing the size of her walk-in. Well. Wow, oh. <laughs> look at this closet. No negotiations. There's no negotiations Joseph. between woman and a man, right? Absolutely. The bigger. <laughs> no more battling with you. Absolutely, Joseph. Just say yes. Yes, and pay the check. Joseph lost the closet battle, and up until now, this has been Irina's dream house. Happy wife, happy life, Joseph. Did you hear that? Yes. But they're both about to step into a wing of the house that will make your jaw drop. Uh, incredible room. Oh, oh my god. god. What is this, this is something. Now we call it a trophy room. Joseph, you absolutely will love this room because this is man cave. And oh, uh, let's see man uh, cave for you. What do we need? When you're super rich and you like to hunt, showing off big game in a room like this is a symbol of status, testosterone, and your ability to spend tons of money traveling the world for your special hobby. Oh, wow. <laughs> this place gives the Bronx Zoo a run for its money. From alligator to zebra, brown bear, tiger, wild boar, baboon, just the taxidermy bill on this house would leave you scared stiff. Incredible office space for you and your business partners to uh, have private conversations. I'm afraid he's gonna lock himself in here. <laughs> Will include? The uh, animals? I don't think so. But uh, we can talk excited. about that. <laughs>The estate is massive, with six bedrooms, 12 baths, and lots of very impressive restoration. But is it nice enough for that hefty price tag? It's listed for $15 million. Would you be willing to spend that much money? Good question. I'm is gonna, that I'm going to leave this answer up to him. Okay. <laughs> I would. Okay. <laughs> we will fight with money for the price. To we him. can bargain. You can bargain, right? <laughs> yes. If it were up to Irina, I think she would have made an offer right there. As for Joseph, well, he has a long flight to Moscow to think about it. Talk about it, and then we'll talk. Fifteen million dollars. Are you going to get that price? We will do everything possible to position this property on the market to get the top dollar for my clients.